Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Entrepreneur Pod. This video is a collection of ideas and tactics from Robert Kiyosaki. One of his bestseller books, Rich Dad Poor Dad, sold over 24 million copies. Kiyosaki from early on wanted to be rich, so he was curious about asking how to get rich. And in this endeavor, he was very successful with his quest and wants to tell everyone how he did it. Savers or losers? Savers are the biggest losers today. And you're taught to save money. The truth is, you can't save your way to wealth, period. However, for many people, saving money is their plan for financial wealth. Their only plan. They hope and pray that after they pay all of their bills, there will be enough left over to put in the bank. But given the fact that most people usually have nothing left over after they pay the bills, saving for financial wealth is about as reliable as winning the lottery. Compounding this problem is the interest rate paid by most savings accounts trail behind the rate of inflation. In other words, your money sitting in a bank while earning interest is becoming less valuable. Valuable. Sure, you may have some money tucked away, but saving money only provides an illusion of wealth. Building real financial wealth begins with educated investing, not saving money. So instead of saving, you need to pay yourself. First, becoming rich requires self-discipline, and in none of the seven ways to build financial wealth is that more evident than when it comes to paying yourself first. A lot of people claim to believe in paying themselves first, but few actually follow through and do it. Paying yourself first means that when money comes in, you designate a portion of it to purchasing income-producing assets before one cent goes to anyone or anything else. Most people can't do this. They see the bills and financial obligations they have and use income to satisfy those demands first. And by meeting everyone else's demands, they end up with nothing short term or long term. In the short term, they are unable to invest in what will provide escape from living paycheck to paycheck. In the long term, they will have nothing to live on during retirement. Expand your means. The assumption that living below your means leads to prosperity is one of the most common financial beliefs, yet one of the least effective. Just like saving money, most people think that it is solid financial advice. And it is, if your goal is to be poor or middle class. The the problem with living below your means is that it reinforces the poor and middle class mindset. When you see a luxury car, a dream vacation, or a designer suit, you're looking longingly at the item and then turn with head hung low and sigh, I can't afford it, by asking yourself, how can I afford it, instead of telling yourself, I can't afford it. You begin to think about money and its creation differently. Pay taxes like the rich. If you want to become rich, you need to keep more of what you make and pay less in taxes. That isn't to say you should do something underhanded, deceptive, or illegal, but that you recognize that the tax laws are already set up to help you keep what is yours. I make millions of dollars and pay zero taxes legally. Mind your own business. While becoming rich requires work, don't think that your hard work and your work alone is how you'll make money. The poor and middle class are taught go to school, get a job, and work hard as a way to get ahead in the system. The rich, however, are taught instead to work on the system. This is what Rich Dad meant when he taught Robert to mind your own business. Diversify your portfolio. Sit down with any financial planner and they will tell you to diversify. They will then go on to talk about small cap and large cap funds. They will explain why you will need funds that focus on this sector and a few from that sector. If you listen to most guys, they go, the first Diversify, diversify, diversify. Diversify, diversify, diversify. They will also encourage you to invest internationally too. There's only one problem with this diversification strategy. It's not diversification. If you follow this advice, all you will do is spread your money across one investment vehicle. While it is better than investing 100% of your money into one company's stocks, this type of diversification strategy is the strategy of the poor and the middle class. True diversification comes from investing across different investment vehicles. No one investment is free from risk. All have strengths and weaknesses. But if you diversify within one asset class, you are exposing yourself completely completely to the weaknesses of that asset class. The rich understand that true diversification comes from investing in real estate, commodities, business, and paper assets. They understand how each market affects the other. They know when to get in and when to get out. They can move their money from the asset classes that might be struggling at the moment to one that is poised for huge gains. But what I'd rather do is be able to know the good ones from the bad ones, the good investments from the bad investments. The bottom line, your financial wealth is your responsibility. You determine whether you will be poor, middle class, or rich. While your financial future is an awesome responsibility, if you desire to be rich, it is one that can be yours if you follow the path laid out above. You can build your own financial wealth, just like Robert Kiyosaki, but only if you take the first step. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, be sure to watch the next two videos on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. And that's what I recommend. Those are, so the, this, some of the difference between the old rules and the new rules. Thank you very much.